everyone i'm shana back again with another video and today in this video we'll be talking about code cascading in dart so uh, before talking about code cascading let's uh, write some code and explain it to you that what code cascading in dart is so let's jump into the editor and into the advanced folder create a new file name as code cascading dot dart so after creating it let me let me close it yeah so uh, first we will need uh, we need to create a class suppose uh, class name is man it has age and it has name and now i need to make a con constructor which will be a parameterized one and this dot name comma this dot age i have passed name and age to it in the parameterized constructor and this age and name are instance variable okay so after that we want to print this one so print print uh, man so i need to print it print the name is i have told you how to write like this if you haven't watched the previous video please watch those uh, and then watch th watch this video because then you will be confused and you will hate programming and we and you will call it it as tough so that's why watch the previous videos and then watch this so this is our class name man okay then i need to uh, write the main method so let's write it yeah then the normal in the normal way we have done like this that we have wrote the class name we have created a object okay then then we have passed the parameter as my name is shayan so that's why i'm giving shayan and my age is 20 i'm giving out 20 and then i have used like this and print man yeah we have done and used up uh, and uh, have done this program like this so let's run it i guess it will it is right sorry uh cd cd advance ls yeah so dot code cascading dot dot hit enter see the name is shion and it's it sorry my bad so in his ages we like this we have we can do it so there is another way which is known as code cascading okay uh, i'm not saying that this is the way you should do it but for the advanced programmers who are following this lesson and who are coding with dart for a long time you can actually watch uh, use this and get habituated because many of them like uh, writes uh, write code in this style so like this we have we have to name the class name and then we have to write the we have to uh, initialize the parameters like this and let's say i want to give 18 here okay and now how can we access it but uh, by putting two dots we can access it just like this age equals to my age is 20 i'll be 20 i'm not yet 20 and by keeping dot we can give we are we are, can access print data also and if i run this one it will give me the same output see the name is shion and his name is uh, and, the, and his age is 20 okay like this 
so actually we are uh, using it so you can use it uh, in many ways okay this is a way you can use it so this much for this video i hope you are enjoying this course and if you really enjoy uh, hit the like button and subscribe our channel and click on the bell notification icon because i'll be posting this such of con content in the future also so bye bye take care